morning everybody. It's Gina. Welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67. Um, today I am on here to offer up a giveaway on my channel. Um, I'm overdue for, gosh, so many milestones and <clears throat> I really want to take the time to say thank you to all of you who have subscribed You've been so supportive in leaving lovely comments, uh, and I appreciate that. And I want to give back to this community because um, I've gotten so much from this uh, crafting community. Uh, not in material things, in, in gaining confidence, um, kind of finding a purpose, I suppose. Um, it's just much bigger than <laughs> what it looks like. It, this, it's just an amazing support group of people who have come together with a, um, you know, a, an in, a similar interest, and it's just it's changed my life. And I know that probably sounds really ridiculous to some people, but I think if you're deep rooted in the community you understand what I'm saying um, you know with things going on in our lives it offers us you know for various reasons some people can't sleep um, some people are going through health issues and this is a community that we can come to no matter what time day or night and you will find something here to take your mind off of whatever's happening in your personal life and that is amazing um, so anyways enough of my rambling um, <clears throat> I want to thank uh, Wenke I hope I'm pronouncing that right she is finally crafting here on YouTube she has a challenge up for the month of March I believe now don't hold me to that you need to go to her channel if you're wanting to enter um, but she's called this giveaway Reduce and Reuse. And I've subscribed to hers, and I contacted her and asked her if she would mind if I did the same thing on my channel, but giving her the credit. So I will put her link below. Um, <clears throat> like I said, um, hers is a little bit different. She has a bit of a wish list that she wants, and... I'm not going to do that with mine, but I'm still going to be reducing and reusing in the sense that <clears throat> I have too much stuff um, in my space and I don't have the room for that. I need to clear out because I, I, there are things that I need to have in here for what I do and I don't have the room and I just want to pass these items on to somebody who can make use of them. So what I'm going to show in this video is not necessarily everything you're going to receive. This is just um, a taster of some of the items and I am going to be mixing it up and it's all based on um, shipping cost guys because I am on a tight budget so whatever I put into this has got to fit into a envelope I will ship anywhere in the world, um, but it has to be under 750 grams, but I have weighed that out, and it's quite a lot of product. So, like I said, I'm just going to show you a bit of things. Um, I've got way too many napkins. Um, I know a lot of people have asked me about these. I've got bukus of them, and it's just time to let these go. These are recent. Um, and these, like I said, I've got other designs, so that's just a bit of a taster from that. Um, <clears throat> metal, I've got book plates, I've got keys, I've got um, little wooden pegs, I've got the ball pins, I've got these type of paper clips, I've got the rose gold paper clips, I've got pastel, <laughs> and then I've got these kind of things. That's just you know a bit of an idea I've got some of these wool threads I bought just a whole 
bag of these, and I'll never get through them. I, I'm, so I want, I want to pass these on to someone who can use them. Um, this is just some of the vintage trim I've got. It's got a lovely honey-aged color to it, and there will be some of that in there. Um, I've got a massive amount of sorry silk. This is a sorry silk bundle. Um, I'm going to go through, <clears throat> and obviously I'll make these a bit more presentable when they go out, but there will be some of that in there. There's going to be <clears throat> some bags. I've got all kinds of glassine bags. I've got little tea bags. I've got some vellum um, phrases and quotes. I've got scrapbooking paper. Now the scrapbooking paper will have to be cut down to 6x6 six six, and I don't know how much of that I can include because paper is super heavy. Um, if you guys have shipped or had to um, travel with paper, <laughs> you know I'm an expert on it by now. Oh, you wouldn't have believed my suitcase. Um, I have the 12x12 12 12 paper pads and Oh, Lordy, I had to distribute it between five bags, and I probably ended up bringing over about 20 paper stacks I had picked up from Michael's, Joann's, Tuesday mornings, because it, I knew it was going to be so much more expensive here. But what I'm trying to say is paper is extremely heavy, so I don't know how much of that I can put in. But I guess my idea on this was I was trying, to, I want to try to give enough items in case it ends up in the hands of somebody who's just getting started with um, crafting, junk journaling, because not everybody's got the funds to go out and buy these things, and it is expensive to, to get started. So, um, you know, obviously it's random. Whoever gets it, gets it. But I'm hoping that I'm going to give a nice selection that it will be used by whoever the winner is. Here are, I've got Tim Holtz pay, uh, fabrics. Now, I know one of the designs I've got that I just recently did has been discontinued. I do not know about these, but I think, and this is just what I think, um, I believe Tim Holtz is getting out of the materials. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, regardless, they are not easy to get your hands on. And so I've got bolts of this. So I'm going to um, send, you know, out some of those. I've got some of this fabric. It's going to be a nice mix of materials, guys. And I can tell you this. Everything I send out is going to be enough to make at least a journal and some tags. I'm not going to send you, you know, you know, bad little pieces that you can't do anything with. All of them will be at least this this size and larger because there's nothing more frustrating than, than getting a nice piece and, and not having enough to do anything with. And I've measured them out. So that they will at least do, you know, like a 5 by 7 journal. Some of them will do uh, a 9 by 6 but not, not all of them. At least a 5 by 7 And like I said, that you'd have enough to do at least two. And if you're into mini journals, you could get even more. Now this one, um, this is some of my new fabric. People have expressed a lot of interest in this. So, you know what? <clears throat> it's an exclusive... UK design, so you guys aren't going to get that, I don't think, if you're in other parts of the world. So I just want to share it because it's I've got enough of it to make what I want to, and, and I've got stuff left over, so why not? Um, I, I, I can do that, and I'm happy to do so. Uh, my thing has always been... My situation, you know, it's just shipping. Uh, I I haven't gotten involved in as many swaps as I would have loved to have done, and it's purely because of my own personal life, and I try not to bring my personal life on here because nobody wants to hear it. I want my channel to be positive. But um, I've moved around a lot in the last couple of years, and 
you know, it's I've not always been settled enough that I could get involved in things because I'm a, when I give my word, I stand behind it, and I don't, I'm not going to get involved in something that I cannot finish. So that's the reason I've I'm just now feeling a bit settled where I can make some commitments, and the same for the giveaways. Um, honestly, it's just um, I like to open it up internationally, and it's expensive for shipping. So. I'm going to have to be conscious of that, but this is a beautiful piece. I love that color. I'd love to have my bedroom painted that color, actually, because it's very calming. But that's a piece you could do at least two journals. Like I said, I, I've tried to make sure that, that there'd be enough. This, oh, you know, I love them bubble bees. And look at that. So that's a really nice big... I've they're all folded over, so you, you get a nice, nice big piece there. Because <clears throat> I, I want to encourage people who are starting out that, um, you know, I, I really, I hope, you know, this will end up with somebody who will make use of it, obviously. <laughs> um, because it's such a joy. I really, really love crafting it's gosh it's therapeutic it, it really it, it's been the best thing that's happened to me and I on, a, on that note let me just say right now um, I owe a massive thank you to Yvonne Preston um, when I first got involved in this she was the first person who reached out to me and um, did a swap with me and you know I've grown over the years and I've still got so far to go but that means a lot to me that journal that that I received from her it and I just want to thank her personally right now because um, she's to me she is the junk journal queen and um, I just love her for that. Thank you, Yvonne, for 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 this for the, for for those of us out there that are looking for something that we can just put ourselves into. Um, thank you. Okay. Anyways, I'm getting all soppy here. <laughs> um, but that's okay. So that's what it is. Um, let me think. I just want to go back over, guys. I may have to make myself a note because you know I'm such an airhead. Um, Finally Crafting is doing her giveaway. So I'll put her link below. You guys check her out. She's, like I said, hers is slightly different to mine. Mine is a giveaway, but I do have a requirement. you got to be a subscriber. You've got to like it and comment. Um, I'm going to leave this open to the 1st of April. April Fool's Day. Um, <clears throat> the other, well, the only requirement is this. In your comment, I want you to tell me what you would like to see more of on my channel, content-wise. But you can't just say, oh, I want to see tutorials, or, you know, more tutorials or how-tos. I want you to give me specific ideas. Um, you know, is there a technique that you've seen, or, you know, are you struggling with an idea for um, junk journal embellishments? Would you like to see me dabble more on the mixed media? Because I am no expert on that at all. But, you know, I know myself when I go through channels, I don't necessarily want an expert. I want somebody <coughs> that I can go along with the process and learn by their mistakes and while I'm finding my own mistakes. Um, so you have to be specific in that. And I am going to check this because... Um, you know, I, that's the only requirement I've got. I'm not asking you guys. I don't. I don't want you to send me anything because I don't have the room. 
um, and I'll, I'm going to try to get involved in other swaps more um, in the future. So, so that's my <clears throat> condition: is that in your comment box, tell me a specific topic that you would like me to see, and I'm going to try to use those over the next couple of months because I I really want to devote more time to the tutorials. Um, and I know I've been promising that, but I am really trying to get my life settled down to the point I can I can do this more effectively than I've been. So, um, let's see if there's anything else. I don't think so. So thank you guys. Good luck to everybody. Um, I appreciate it, and I will um, I'll look forward to announcing the winner on April 1st. So thanks a lot, guys. You have a great uh, rest of the week, and I'll see you back here soon. Bye.